everyone for joining. Thank you so much. All of your participants, all of you little ones. I'm so happy to see each one of you. Uh, I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy today's session because we have a lot of fun stuff planned out. And not just that, you guys are going to do a lot of creative things as well. So let's just brighten up our day with this, <laughs> with this Kiri Kui mistress, which is Advita. Advita Hello, all everyone. Yeah. My yeah, name is Adita Iyer, and today I am your cutie quiz mistress. You guys can clap hands for her. Yay! Show that you're excited. <laughs> Great! Yay! Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, let's let's reveal the question. What if we light a candle in a glass of water? A. Nothing will happen, and it will burn fully. B, the candle will burn under water for a few millimeters or C, it will off immediately when it reaches the water surface. Johanna ma'am will give you a poll, the answer to the poll, publish polling results. Three people chose C and two people chose B. Now I'm going to give everyone five minutes time to write uh, why you chose your answers in the chat. I'll give you five minutes time. Starting now. Advaita, I have a question. Uh, yes, Namit. Of the B option, is the candle will burn underwater for a few millimeters or millisecond? Millimeters. Okay, time's up. All of these answers were very great. Now I will un uh, I will ask you to unmute yourself and uh, explain why you have chose B or C. Um, yes, Akruti. I chose C because uh, like when we will like put the candle inside a glass of water, then the glass becomes foggy on the inside. The fire on the candle it fades and goes out. So you chose answer C. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a great answer. Thanks, I loved it. Okay, Sandy, choose option uh, option C because when uh, we put the candle in the glass of water, then it will immediately like off. That was a that was nice answer. I answer. really liked it. Thank you. Uh, Namit? Uh, I chose option B because as the candle touches the water, little oxygen which was left in the air will burn for a little few um, millimeters or something. That was a really great answer. I loved it. Uh, Karthik? Yeah, I chose option C because as soon as it uh, like reaches the water surface, uh, it will remove the oxygen and the temperature will like it will come down, so it will stop burning. That's why. Hmm. The, I love that answer. Uh, Rakhi, man, uh, can uh, you were about to type an answer? Uh, you you can tell your answer. Oh, but I am not a cutie student ambassador. Shall I uh, say, ma'am? You can still say, and so, all uh, the other trainers who have answered, they may say. Oh, that's an interesting question. I must appreciate first of all, and I'm really confused. I don't know what's the correct answer, but I thought I was imagining that when the candle is in a glass of water, once it reaches the surface of the water, probably water will extinguish the candle. So hmm. that's why I think it's option C, according to me. Uh, that was a really neat answer. Uh, any other coaches who want to answer? Uh, Johanna man uh, according to me I think it's option B so um, why because I feel um, it lights for some time and then after that I think only the inside of it continues to keep lighting until the water comes to the surface and then once it reaches the same level then the water goes inside and it turns off mm. Mm. Um, okay that was a nice answer I liked it thank you uh, Nikolesh, sir, do you have an answer that you may like to discuss? Hello, hello, Dwaita. Hi, everyone. I was wondering what, what is this question? First, uh, I was thinking, <laughs> is it inside the water or how it is? Inside the water, um, it's lighted and all this stuff. So I was confused with the question of the first uh, thing. <laughs> then I understood that, like, you know, uh, it is like uh, it is covered on the top and water is at some level, then candle is like, you know, 
coming out like little bit the space am i right is it something like that yeah uh, i think yeah ah. that was a nice answer okay okay is it like that so i'll just take the presenter just some sorry just one minute is yeah. it something like see uh see this is a, a cover is there and water is filled till this and candle okay. is kept like this okay is it like that uh yeah yeah it's ah. like that but okay. uh, but at some point the candle will have to touch the water exactly exactly so okay mm -hmm. um my guess i'll tell you uh so any fire if 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 we need the fire there should be one percent oxygen there should be oxygen mm -hmm. if there is no oxygen there won't be no fire so, so it depends upon uh, i'm going to give a hypothetical answer it depends upon the uh, uh, how fast the candle is going to melt or uh, the, the, the candle it doesn't matter how fast because the candle is going to be roughly the same size as your glass yeah but uh, what about the oxygen presence how long the oxygen will be there so now that is the question exactly so i'm not sure it depends there is a two uh, mm -hmm. two uh, possibility i would say yeah. one okay. depend upon the oxygen level next is uh, candle melting thingy <laughs> the okay, wax this is my yeah. Idea. yeah the wax okay that was a really nice answer what my answer would be i think it would be b because uh, yeah i think if the water uh, the candle would slowly burn i think yeah the answer is b the candle is cooled off by the water which allows the candle to burn under water for a few millimeters you can easily do this at home when the candle burns it create it burns the inside but when the water keeps the outside of the candle cool it will make the candle into a hollow tube this way the candle fire will be inside burning until the water floods in the can water floods into the candle light a candle in a glass of water i am speeding up the video for convenience The candle has reached the water surface but it is still burning. The candle is now burning under water. It has offed. Let's check the depth. The candle has burnt 7 mm under water. Agar to that question was mind blowing. I took a lot of time. I took almost 5 minutes for doing it. The end by the just I just did drum the off. All everyone's answers was just as nice. Let me ask you a bonus question. Is there oxygen under water? Uh yes. The results. Everyone answered yes and you are all correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you everyone for your participation. Uh jo I think Johanna man has another question. Yes, um it was really really nice to have to hear all of your different opinions. I think everyone gave such valid valid points and the concept of bringing oxygen into it. I think Namit uh, before we even spoke about uh, oxygen I think in your comments that you have listed right you also mentioned about the oxygen source right uh, the fire from the oxygen uh, from its surroundings and i think that was great uh, very good i'd love to hear all the teachers also uh, all of your coaches participating that was very very nice i do have one question uh, i think everyone can again give your answer to this i know there is oxygen we all now know that there is oxygen both yeah, under water as well as above and uh, yeah so what do you think can we have music under water i think we need music under water we uh, i think we need special hearing aids for that because underwater your like eardrum that thing it needs the pressure yeah, the pressure ah uh, the pressure it needs to vibrate yeah, pressure. to fully really accommodate like how i am speaking there are different um, 
movements in the air. You are all receiving it as I'm talking. Exactly. Yeah, but if we're underwater, all you'd hear was. <laughs> and another thing is the pressure. The pressure we can hear less actually. Do you think we can play instruments underwater? I don't um, think so. nobody will be able to we can play them, but we can't hear them. We can play them, yeah. but we can't hear them. Okay. Yeah, you need a diving suit so you can breathe nicely and. Do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about the uh, anyone? Any coaches want to uh, say what you think about playing instruments underwater? That will be very funny. That would be so funny. I I think so. <laughs> But hearing it is something I don't know. I have never experienced and never thought. But it's a very good question. That yeah. is the instrument you can't play underwater. Yeah. That is a uh, few instruments. That is instruments with holes, like the harmonica or the flute. They need uh, wind. Yeah, That's right, right, right. That's a good one. Or a wind chime. Hmm. So what can we play? We can do drums and all. I don't know. <laughs> That's a very good oh. question. Interesting. Uh, yes, that's a good question, ma'am. Uh, I have a short video clip for you guys to watch. Okay. Okay. So Was it shocking? Uh, yeah. yeah. Like it was. Yes. I am about to talk that she could sing underwater. Yeah, you'd need to uh, give some of your breath. Bit by bit, your whole breath will go away. Okay. Um. That was. Uh. That was just to show you guys that we can also play special instruments underwater and you can make music underwater as well but it's not going to be as fun and as amazing as it is on air but it will definitely be musical and it is soothing and you know that even uh, like you know animals underwater like dolphins they also sing they also uh, you know they they make yeah, noise they use those, uh, their communicating and uh, for some people they find this very soothing for sleep because some people use ocean water uh, sounds to sleep and some people listen to music why not ocean music like that would be yes <laughs> okay, very nice, very nice. Well done. Uh, I'm so happy that everyone, uh, you know, participated and enjoyed it. It was fun. It was interesting, and I think all of us uh, have learned something a bit new today. I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for participating. Uh, it was really nice to hear what everyone had to contribute and share your thoughts and ideas. Uh, it was very very nice. I enjoyed myself. I uh, what do you think? Did you enjoy yourself, Adhita? Yes, I did very much. I liked hearing everyone's answers, and I also and I also liked everyone's answers for everything. The yes. bon bonus question, the riddle, and the main question, mostly the yes. main question. It was very nice. I think uh, Nikesh is very pleased. He gave us a big smiley.